Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to solve equation by using Kramer's rule. We have a three into three uh, square matrix. So let's take a start. We have three equations. So first of all, we have to write down coefficient of x, and here we have to write down coefficient of y. Here coefficient of z and here constant we have to write down okay so coefficient of x what is their coefficient of x 2 so 2 we have to write down here coefficient of y nothing than 1 we have to take with sign so minus 1 coefficient of z is 1 so we have to write 1 and here constant number we can see here minus 1 similarly in second equation coefficient of x what is here 1 so we have to write 1 coefficient of y is minus 2 we have to take with sign we have to take sign also and the coefficient of z is 3 if positive then no need to write and here constant number is 4 so we have to write down here 4 similarly coefficient of x is 4 so we have to write here 4 coefficient of y is 1 so let's write 1 coefficient of z is 2 so 2 and here constant number 4 so we have to write down 4 hope you understand up to here now we have to find out d d1 d2 to find out d what we have to take we have to take coefficient of x coefficient of y coefficient of z so 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 2 3 4 1 2 we have to do like this now how to solve this you can use any process either by uh, row equivalent matrix or column by column wise or by using Saras rule we have three methods to solve this either by row method either by column method either by Saras rule so I'm you going to use here row wise so 2 we have to write down and what is the minor of 2 this 4 elements minus 2 3 1 4 1 2 you can see here we took 2 so row of this 2 and column of this 2 no need to take so minus 2 3 1 2 we have to take here similarly next one is minus but here already minus so it will be plus 1 and what is the minor of this one is row and column no need to take so 1 3 4 2 1 3 4 2 we have to do after that 1 we have to take first plus then minus then plus so plus we have to write down 1 and we have to find out the minor of 1 minor of 1 means 1 minus 2 4 1 so we can write 1 minus 2 4 1 now let's we have to calculate 2 minus 2 into 2 we get minus 4 minus 3 minus and here 3 plus 1 1 into 2 2 minus 4 into 3 12 minus always from formula plus 1 again main diagonal multiply 1 into 1 1 minus and here minus already so plus 4 2 is 8 now calculate this one 2 here we get minus 7 plus 1 and here we get minus 10 plus 1 and here we get 9 let's multiply this minus 14 minus 10 plus 9 when you subtract this two we get minus 1 and here we get here minus 15 hope you understand up to here now we have to find out d1 to find out d1 we have to take which one first constant number then coefficient of y then coefficient of z so first we have to take constant number to find out d1 so minus 1 4 4 and then we have to take coefficient of y minus 1 minus 2 1 and then we have to take coefficient of z 1 3 2 now you can use any method either row wise either column wise or either Saras rule so here we can use minus 1 and what is the minor of 1 this four elements so we can write minus 2 3 1 2 after that minus then here already minus so we can write plus 1 and minor of this one 4 4 3 2 after that plus 1 and what is the minor of 1 4 minus 2 4 1 and when you solve this we get here 15 I'm going to write on direct please solve and write on in this way hope you can you can find out first main diagonal we have to multiply minus 2 into 2 then minus 1 into 3 other also we have to do same now we have to find out d2 and d3 d2 to find out d2 what we have to do we have to take coefficient of x then constant number then coefficient of z first this one coefficient of x then constant number and then coefficient of z so d2 is equal to we can write here coefficient of x 2 1 4 and then we have to take constant number minus 1 4 4 and then coefficient of z 1 3 2 let's do it now here 2 so 2 and the minor of 2 is equal to what 4 3 4 2 so 4 3 4 2 
then minus but here already minus so it will be plus 1 and minor of this one 1 3 4 2 1 3 4 2 after that plus minus plus so we have to write plus 1 and minor of 1 means 1 3 4 4 so 1 3 minor of 1 1 4 4 4 yes 1 4 4 4 and when you calculate this we get here minus 30 okay calculate and write down after that d3 we have to find out to find out d3 we have to take coefficient of x coefficient of y and constant number so coefficient of x we have to write here 2 1 4 then coefficient of y minus 1 minus 2 1 and constant number minus 1 4 4 let's first we have to write down 2 and minor of 2 means minus 2 4 1 4 minus 2 4 1 4 similarly next we have to take here this minus minus plus 1 second one will be minus and uh, formula from minus so minus minus plus and uh, minor of this one 1 4 4 4 so 1 4 4 4 after this we have to take this one minus 1 here and minor of this one 1 minus 2 4 1 1 minus 2 4 1 and when you solve this we get here minus 45 hope you understand up to here after that we have to find out the value of x y z so x is equal to d1 by d d1 is equal to what we have 15 15 by 15 is equal to 1 similarly y y is equal to formula d2 by d d2 is equal to what we have minus 30 so minus 30 by minus d1 is equal to we have minus 15 yes here d1 is equal to Oh, d is minus 15 so minus 15 here we get minus 1 and here we get minus 1 is plus we get 2 z is equal to formula d3 by d d3 what is the value of d3 we can see here d3 is equal to minus 45 so minus 45 by d is equal to minus 15 15 3 is a so we can write here 3 so z is equal to 3 the value of x is minus 1 value of y is 2 and the value of z is 3 Hope you understand this video related with Kramer's rule how to solve equation by using Kramer's rule 3 into 3 matrix. If you understand, please hit the like button. And if you are new on my channel, please consider subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos too. And try to once again try to understand here how to find out this minor. Suppose if you take 2, then rows and column no need to take minus 2, 3, 1, 4. Minus 2, 3, 1, 4. When you take minus 1, minus and minus formula 1 plus 1 and minor of this one means row and column no need to take row and column no need to take 1 3 4 2 1 3 4 2 similarly last one we have to take 1 no need to take either you take rows or we have to take column or use Sarah's rule okay for 1 1 minus 2 4 1 1 minus 2 4 1 thanks for watching till last